Hello, my name is Rachel and I like playing with makeup. And today I'm going to be trying Colored Rain Cosmetics for the first time. I don't know if you saw my Colored Rain Mystery Box unboxing. It was a, like a pre-Black Friday sale and I did that unboxing I think a couple weeks ago. Well, I'm finally getting a chance to actually try these products. <laughs> so I'm excited about that. Um, and also I thought, because uh, I have been asked in the past, I, I would also just bring you along and show you how I do my entire face because why not? This has a, a blush and a highlighter in it, so I'm halfway to my entire face anyway. Oh, first my little disclaimer. <laughs> I'm obviously not a makeup artist. I'm just a middle-aged woman who only discovered really playing with makeup like 10 years ago. <laughs> and I just have a lot of fun with it. So don't be upset if you don't learn anything. <laughs> but hopefully you'll still enjoy coming along with me as I try these products for the first time. Okay, so... The first thing I do when I'm getting ready to, to put on makeup is I obviously uh, wash, but I also exfoliate my face because I do get a lot of dry patches, like especially like in the T-zone where you're supposed to be oily, I get a lot of dry patches. I don't know why. So exfoliated, washed my face, and moisturized. And then my first makeup step is a primer. And I actually absolutely love this Illamasqua primer. I got it in an Ipsy and I'm beginning to run low and I doubt I'm willing to pay the actual full price for it. <laughs> but this is the primer I'm going to use today. It has a little spoon. So I just scoop out a chunk and just apply this with my fingers. And then of course with makeup, I always start with my eyes. So I'm going to add some tape because I like to get those little sharp lines along the edge. I don't always do the tape, but I usually do the tape. And I just do a line from the corner of my eye to the edge of my eyebrow. And then next, of course, prime my eyelids. And I use the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer. And since eyeshadow-wise with the Colored Rain, all I really have is this one metallic silver and these two glitter top coats, I am bringing in this Juvia's Place palette just to have a base color. And I think for my base color, I think I'm actually gonna go with a matte, which is not something I do a lot, but I'm gonna give it a try. I'm just gonna go in with this matte purple just as my base cover all over my eyelid. Oh yeah, and I'm only gonna do the one eye on camera because um, I don't want you guys to be here all day. I'll do the other eye off camera. And of course I do my eyes first because I'm messy and I get a lot of fallout and I don't have to wipe away half my face. <laughs> So we're going to go in with our first Colored Rain product. I'm going in with this Metallic Silver Single. I don't know if that's showing up on camera, but that's a really pretty silver. And I'm using this um, as a base coat because then I'm going to go in with those toppers. So I'm just carving out the shape that I want. And I hope you guys can actually see what I'm doing. I'll never, I never know until after I <laughs> review the footage later if I'm going off screen every time I put on makeup. Half the time I do. I keep trying different positions of my mirror, but I don't know what's going to work. <laughs> but next we're going to go in with these two top coats. Now we have, it's a blue glitter and a purple glitter. And I'm going to go in with the blue glitter on the inside of the eye and the purple glitter on the outside of the eye. If I can get any to come out on the, the applicator. <laughs> and get it on the back side of the applicator. Okay, I'll just have to try and use the back side of the applicator. It's really hard to get this out of the tube. As you can see, it's just a sheer glittery top coat. It doesn't actually have pigment in the gel, so you're just laying down a coat of glitter, and it's not a super th like thick, close coat of glitter. So I'm not 100% sure how I'm feeling about this. I 
Let's try the second one. Maybe I'll have better luck with this, the purple. Same thing, not a lot comes up on the applicator itself. And for some reason, more comes up on the back of the doe foot than the front. Even though I'm trying to squish the front against the walls, <laughs> it still keeps showing up on the back. And if you try to build it up, it seems to just sort of move it around in not a good way, like where it clumps up in spots and goes bald in spots. So I'm going to have to say, at this point, I am not a fan of these glitter top coats. But since those are the colors I have to work with, we're just going to stop there. I'm going to go off camera and finish up the other eye. So the eyes are about as good as they're going to get with these products. Um, I do really like the silver single, but these two glitter top coats just really don't work very well for me. For one thing, I have extremely hooded eyelids. So from that, they've almost completely transferred off the eyelid. I don't know if you can see that and creased in the center. Uh, they weren't super easy to work with. I suppose if you just want like a very sheer dusting of glitter on your eyes and your eyes aren't as hooded as mine, these might work really well, but for me, they're just not great. <laughs> but I did also, um, under my brow bone, go in with this Juvia's Place shimmer right here, this pink one. So next we're going to try the two lip glosses so that I can wipe them off without wiping off the face makeup before we get into the face makeup. I just want to try the lip glosses. And this first one is Tropical Vibes. It smells so good. It's a very candy, fruity scent. Even tastes a little good. <laughs> but I don't know if you can see this. It's really pretty. It's like a duochrome. There's oranges and golds in it. Maybe a little sticky. I'm not a huge lip gloss fan. I tend to, to stick to liquid lipsticks and I have recently developed a new love for st like stick lipsticks, bullet lipsticks. But I think this color is really pretty and I bet it would be very transformative over a actual like lipstick. So let's try the next one. And this next one is in Firecracker. And it's a similar shade, but more of a coppery red. But still sort of has that duochrome gold orange thing going on. And it's very similar on the lips, just darker. So I do like it. It's really pretty. I think I like this one better because it is darker and on its own I think it stands up stands out rather nicely or the other one I feel like I would want to still have maybe like a nude color or something underneath it to just give it a little bit more of a boost but this one I, I think I could definitely wear just on its own okay and uh, next we're gonna start on the face I still have a lipstick to try but I will wear this with my look at the end and we're going I'm um, going to be using the color Raiden sponge and I've already made it wet so you can see how much larger it's gotten because it came in this little box and now it's pretty much bigger than the box. Oh, first I wanted to go in with a second layer of a different primer, this luminizing primer. I'm using a luminizing primer because I'm using a matte foundation. So I'm <laughs> balancing them out. Get the glitter off my fingers because I do apply the primer with my fingertips. And my favorite foundation, believe it or not, is this Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I've tried a lot of different foundations. I've tried a lot more expensive foundations and they just never seem to sit on my skin right. I can still occasionally have issues with this one. I think it's because I have like weird, I don't even know if it's combination because I don't feel like I have any oily spots, but I definitely get dry spots. And then I just have weird texture that foundation often won't sit right on. But this one usually does me pretty good. And I'm just going to take my sponge and just, just put it on the sponge. Just a couple of little spatula full and then dot it all over my face. 
I do like the sponge. It has a very soft spongy because it's a sponge <laughs> texture, but it's really soft. I don't feel like it absorbs too much of the product and it seems to have done a good job of blending it out. And in case you were curious, my foundation shade from the Wet n Wild is the Rose Ivory, which I hope is a good match for my skin tone. <laughs> I'm not good at matching. <laughs> Next, I'm going to, um, oh, I already told you. The Keller Rain sponge, I do like. Yay. Okay. And then next I'm going to go in with some concealer. This is the e.l.f. concealer I had found at TJ Maxx. And I tend to go down the side of my nose because my nose tends to get red. Honestly, lately I haven't been doing liquid foundation. I've been doing powder foundation. So when I do powder foundation, I actually go in with the concealer first and then I do the powder foundation over it. And I just go where all my red spots are. And now I'm going to do my contour. And I have this little Too Faced Chocolate Soleil contour. And this is like my favorite contour, but it's just a sample. But this thing has lasted me for several years. I should probably get a new one because, you know, you probably shouldn't keep makeup for several years. <laughs> but I can't help it. It still smells like chocolate. <laughs> and it's still my favorite shade of the, the ones that I have. And I just go, you know, I do a really harsh line under my cheekbone. And then I go in with this blending brush and blend it out and up. And the only other place that I do put this is I do under my jawline. And next we're going back to another Keller Rain product because it's time for blush and highlighter. And this is duo is in damage control. As I blind you. <laughs> Just taking my blush brush, dipping it in lightly because this does seem to be a darker blush than I normally use. And then I actually, I don't do my blush where you're supposed to on the apples of your cheeks. I do it back here and just go up. I don't know why, I just like my blush back there. <laughs> oh yeah, this blush is so much more pigmented than what I'm used to using. <laughs> you can probably hear Poos yelling at me. <laughs> and now we're going to go in with this highlight, which is maybe a little dark for me, but we'll find out. <laughs> So this highlighter is very glittery, very highlighty, which is nice. <laughs> and then just put just very powdery. Oh, I don't know if it shows up, but oh my God, that's so powdery. Put a little bit there on my nose. <laughs> so, so far my opinion of this is I do really like this blush, but it might be a touch dark for me. I might need a lighter hand on that, um, but that just might be my personal preference. I do tend to go pretty light on my brush. I actually normally use a Physician's Formula Butter Blush in a really pale shade. Um, I like the highlighter too, although it might be a touch glittery and maybe a touch dark for me. I don't know, but so far I like it. I won't know, I guess, until I see myself in more normal lighting, but I think I do like these these products right here. I don't know if Poos will let me <laughs> bring her up here to show you or not. Do you, do you want to come up, Poos? Can, can you come up? Yeah, you're, you're not going to light me picking you up, are you? Oof. Say hi to everyone, Poos. Hey, say hi to everyone, Poos. Yeah, there's my baby. <laughs> As you guys know, she hates being picked up, but my camera's in a position today where I can't easily move it. <laughs> okay, so I only have um, one Colored Rain product left. Obviously, I'm not done with my eyes yet, but I've 
as far as the color green products go, I only have one left to try, and that's this lipstick. And this lipstick is in the color Implicated. I really love the packaging on it. And it's this really pretty mauve purple color. Doesn't really have much of a smell. But I do really like the color and it is a really smooth and it feels moisturizing. So I do really like the lipstick as well. So let me go off camera, finish up. I just need to put some makeup under my eyes and some false eyelashes on. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I'm back, I finished up. I did use the Juvia's Place again. I used the this dark matte purple to line under my eyes. And then I again used this pink shade that I put underneath my brow bone in the corner of my eye. And then I'm using my a set of the lashes from these uh, magnetic lashes I got off of Amazon during the Black Friday sales. And normally I would also do like a colored uh, pomade in my um, eyebrows, but my eyebrows desperately need some shaping and I'm just not in the mood to deal with it today. <laughs> so they're just being natural. Uh, so yeah, let's go over the, cause this was supposed to be a trying colored rain for the first time review sort of deal. So let's, let's go over those products. Um, in summary, in summary, I really do like their makeup sponge. Their makeup sponge is really nice. Um, I really liked the blush. The highlight, I think it's pretty, but it was super powdery. Um, so I'm not sure about that. But let me know how what you think of this dark of a blush on me. Like, I'm not used to wearing blush that's so noticeable. <laughs> And, and it may not work as well for the way that I use blush when it's this dark. But I don't know. Let me know what you think of the blush on me. And I really love this uh, bullet lipstick. The color is pretty. It feels nice. I enjoyed uh, the two lip glosses. This darker one I could definitely wear on its own. This later one I would probably wear over a lipstick. I enjoyed the single silver shadow. That was really nice. However, the two glitter toppers for me were fails. They just, my um, eyes are just too hooded for this sort of product. And, and I know I've tried this sort of product in the past and it always does the same thing where it completely transfers off of my lid up to the top of my eye and into the crease. So these two are fails for me, but I think everything else worked out for me nicely. But let me know down in the comments below what you thought of all these colored rain products, as well as what I did with the rest of my face, <laughs> if you think that worked out for me. But thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed my video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, you can give it a thumbs down and maybe give me some makeup tips in the comments below. <laughs> and please subscribe to the channel. And hope everyone is just staying happy, healthy, and safe in this incredibly crazy world we are living in. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye!